Each Monday I pick out the Northern Hemisphere's celestial highlights mid-northern latitudes for the week ahead, but be sure to check my main feed for more in-depth articles on stargazing, astronomy, eclipses and more. It's the 52-year anniversary of America's Apollo 11 moon landing this week, but expect it to be all about a billionaire in space as Amazon founder Jeff Bezos gets blasted off to space on top of his company Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket, named after Alan Shepard's historic first American in space mission in 1961. After that excitement will come a nice conjunction of Venus and bright star Regulus, the rising of a full buck moon, and the chance to see both Saturn and then Jupiter tangle with our natural satellite. In an event that will last a mere 11 minutes, billionaire founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, along with three others, will be launched in a space capsule from West Texas to the fabled Kármán line 62 miles, 100 kilometers up, that divides Earth from space. After a few minutes in space it will then float back down to Earth by parachute while the rocket booster lands back on the launch pad. Happening on the 52-year anniversary of America's Apollo 11 moon landing, it will be live-streamed on BlueOrigin.com and YouTube The brightest planet in the night sky by far will appear to be just one degree from the 21st brightest star in the sky, Regulus in Leo, in the western sky just after sunset. About 79 light-years from the sun, Regulus is actually two pairs of stars that orbit each other. Most star systems are not like ours. Look to the lower right of the two and you may see the red planet Mars closer to the horizon. The Moon will be officially full at 2.37 Universal Time on Saturday, July 24, 2021, which in North America means today. The rising of the full Moon will be best seen in the northeastern direction about 20.30 local time across the US though do check the exact moonrise times for your location. In practice it takes about an additional 10 minutes to actually see the full moon peaking above the horizon, but what a sight. Although the 98% lit waning moon will rise in darkness tonight in the southeastern night sky, it will do so with the ring planet Saturn about 4 degrees above it. Binoculars will be handy for glimpsing it, though a telescope is required to see its rings, and also for getting a nice close-up of the moon's surface. Wait long enough and the much brighter planet Jupiter will appear due east, to the moon's lower left. Now 94% illuminated, the waning buck moon will be about 4, below Jupiter a few hours after dark, with dimmer Saturn to its upper right in the southeastern sky. One of the biggest constellations in the night sky and a sure sign that summer has arrived, Hercules is a vast collection of fairly dim stars between two bright summer stars, Vega in Lyra and Arcturus in Boots.